Hello everyone. In this video session, we are going to look into another question in database management system from the topic transactions and concurrency control. This question was asked in the year 2010 for two marks. The question is, consider the following schedule for transactions T1, T2 and T3. A schedule is given over here. And the question asked is, which one of the schedules below is the correct serialization of the above? four serial schedules are given and we need to choose the correct one. So first of all, we need to know some terminologies uh, to attempt this question. Uh, so first, first terminology that is uh, uh, to be known as schedule. What does a schedule mean? A schedule means a particular order uh, of operations of concurrent transactions in which CPU executes them. For example, the schedule that is given in the question has got three concurrently running transactions. One is T1, T2, and T3. So these are three concurrently running transactions and a certain schedule is given. What it actually means is that CPU would be executing read X operation of uh, transaction one first, then it would switch to transaction two and then it would execute read y operation of transaction 2 then it would switch to transaction 3 then it would run then it would execute read y operation of t3 then it would switch back to transaction 2 and it would execute write y operation and so on and so forth so uh, as you might be knowing that cpu can execute at the most one operation at a given point of time even though we uh, we uh, sometimes say that the transactions are running parallelly but actually what is happening behind the scenes is that only one operation at one point of time is run and the CPU is switching between the transactions and it seems that uh, all the all the uh, three transactions are running parallel or all the n transactions which are concurrently running are running in parallel but actually only one operation of a particular transaction is executed by CPU. So this is a schedule. That means it is an order in which the operations of the concurrently running transactions are executed by CPU. Now coming to conflicting operations. What, what does two conflicting operations belonging to two different transactions mean? So two conflicting operations belonging to two different transactions mean is uh, we, we call two operations belonging to two transactions to be conflicting if uh, both of these conditions are satisfied. The data operand of both the operations are same and one operation is read x other one is write x or one operation is write x other one is read x or one operation is write x and other operation is write x. So here I have represented the data item as x. It can be represented with anything, right? So first condition is the data operand must be same. That means both of the operations of belonging to two different transactions are, uh, are acting upon same data item. And then one is read, other one is write. One is write, other one is read, or both are writes. So only in condition where both are read operations, uh, those would be non-conflicting and other three, uh, you know, possibilities, the, if the data items are same, then the two operations would be conflicting. Now, come to an example here, uh, this read Y operation of transaction two and read, three, read Y operation of T3 these are non-conflicting because even though they are acting on same data item Y, but both of them are read operations. So these are non-conflicting operations, whereas write Y and read Y of T2 and T3 are conflicting because first one is that they both have the same data operand Y and one is write, other is read. So one is write and other one is read. So these are uh, these are conflicting operations, right? So now coming to next terminology that is conflict 
equivalent uh, we call two schedules to be conflict equivalent uh, if we can achieve one schedule uh, from the other by switching the positions of two non-conflicting operations for example read y and this read y this two are non-conflicting operations if we move read y this read y of transaction two a little down and read y of transaction three a little up that means first first uh, first uh, the cpu would execute read x of transaction one then it would switch to transaction three and it would execute read y of transaction three and then it would switch back to transaction two and it would execute read y of transaction two so we would get another schedule by switching the positions of these two non-conflicting operations uh, and this two schedules would be called as conflict equivalent because one is achieved by other by switching the positions of non-conflicting operations right so these are three terminologies those would be required for solving this question one is transaction conflicting operation and conflict equivalent uh, transactions conflict equivalent schedules sorry conflict equivalent schedules now we need to find out uh, which uh, which serial schedule this particular transaction this particular schedule is conflict equivalent with right so we need to find out which serial schedule this uh, schedule is conflict equivalent uh, with what does a serial schedule mean is um, a schedule in which all the operations of a particular transaction are uh, are executed by cpu back to back for example read x uh, read x and write x these are two operations of transaction one if they are executed back to back and then transaction two's uh, four operations are executed back to back and then transaction three's um, two operations are executed back to back then we would uh, get a serial schedule right uh, but uh, one thing is that uh, the transaction once all operations are executed back to back and then transaction twos or transaction threes so this this is a particular serial schedule but likewise we can have multiple serial schedules we can have this one as well where t2s all operations are executed first then t1s then t3s so this is again another serial schedule right likewise there can be there can be how many serial serial schedules so if there are three transactions first any of these three transactions operations can be executed back to back so uh, first out of these three transactions any of this uh, uh, transactions uh, operations can be executed back to back so in first position there are three options and after choosing the first uh, first transaction the second position we can choose any of the remaining two transactions and in the last position there would be only one transaction remaining so overall there would be three into two into one that is three factorial transactions uh, three factorial schedules which can be called as serial schedules so in general for n transactions there would be in all n factorial possible serial schedules now we need to find out which serial schedule this particular schedule is conflict equivalent with so this is given a uh, schedule now let us switch to uh, a powerpoint presentation where i have in the first slide i have written down the schedule that is given in the uh, in the you know question now let us now attempt to serialize this schedule by uh, switching the positions of non conflicting operations so here if you see transaction one's write x operation and transaction two's write y operation as these are acting upon two different data items they are non-conflicting right to be conflicting the data items the 
the data operand should be same right as these are two different data operands these are non conflicting operations so we can switch this two operations position of this two operations to get another uh, conflict equivalent schedule to this given schedule so let us switch the positions so we have switched the positions of write x and write y of transaction 1 now the write x operation of transaction 1 is in fourth position and write y is brought down to fifth position right so first three operations those would be executed by cpu are this three read operations and then it would execute in fourth position write x operation of transaction one so this two schedules this one is given schedule is conflict equivalent with this particular schedule that we have achieved by uh, switching the positions of two uh, non-conflicting operations now write x and read y by the same token as they are uh, acting upon two different data items they are non-conflicting so we can switch their positions as well to get another conflict equivalent schedule again write x and read y of transaction one and two they are non-conflicting so we can switch their positions by the same token we can switch the positions of so uh, as you see transaction once all operations have come back to back right so they have come back to back now let us try to serialize t2 and t3 by switching their positions switching the positions of the operations so here read y and read y read y of t2 and read y of t3 are non-conflicting so we can switch their positions right so we have moved it up and move the read y operation of t2 a little down now write y and write x of t2 and t3 these are non-conflicting so let us switch this again read y and write x these are non-conflicting so we can switch the positions of these two operations now what we have got is we have got a serial schedule where transaction once all operations are executed back to back then uh, the cpu executes transaction threes all operations back to back and then switching to t2 it executes all the four operations of transaction two back to back so this schedule this is a serial serial schedule this is conflict equivalent with the schedule that was given in the question right so the schedule is t1 first then t3 then t2 right so the correct option would be t1 then t3 then t2 so option a is correct this schedule is conflict equivalent with this particular serial schedule of option a so hope you have understood the logic behind choosing this option thanks for watching bye